President Donald Trump baselessly accused Rep. Adam Schiff of leaking to CNN on Sunday. Trump's accusation, framed with a question mark at the end, came on a busy day of tweeting for the president. At one point, Trump seemed to blame Democrats in some way for his lackluster North Korean summit, writing, for the Democrats to interview in open hearings of convicted liar and fraudster, at the same time as the very important nuclear summit with North Korea, is perhaps a new low in American politics and may have contributed to the walk. Never done when I president is overseas. Shame. Then, in response to a tweet by conservative journalist and member of the Wall Street Journal editorial board Kimberly Strassel, he slammed Democrats and sent Chuck Schumer for hurting the country. Finally, Trump commented on a second Strassel tweet suggesting Schiff seems to be doing a lot of freelancing by writing and also illegally leaking to fake news CNN and others. On Sunday, Schiff, a frequent Trump adversary, said on CBS's Face the Nation there was direct evidence of collusion in regards to Trump's team. It is unclear what exactly, though, prompted Trump's tweet, however, the president has made similar claims before. Back in February 2018, Trump tweeted this little Adam Schiff, who is desperate to run for higher office, is one of the biggest liars and leakers in Washington, right up there with Comey, Warner, Brennan, and Clapper. Adam leaves closed committee hearings to illegally leak confidential information. Must be stopped. Schiff replied back then by telling Trump to turn off his TV. Mr. President, I see you've had a busy morning of executive time. Instead of tweeting false smears, the American people would appreciate it if you turned off the TV and helped solve the funding crisis, protected dreamers, or really anything else.